An NSF-funded research collaboration has announced what its members believe is the first direct evidence that confirms a key element of the theory of the birth of the universe. The researchers found patterns of polarization in the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the so-called Big Bang, that researchers say are best explained by stretching and compressing of space by gravitational waves. This would have happened immediately after the Big Bang, which occurred 14 billion years ago. These waves have been described as the Big Bang's first tremors. The discovery, which awaits peer review, seems to confirm the theory of cosmic inflation, a cataclysmic event that had followed a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, when the infant universe expanded very rapidly. The NSF-funded BICEP-2 collaboration used special detectors on a telescope at the South Pole to make the discovery. The group was led by the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and included researchers from Caltech's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, the University of Minnesota, and several other universities. The team says detecting this signal is one of the most important cosmology goals today. Go ahead, have that cup of coffee. It might just help you remember where you left your car keys. NSF-funded researchers at Johns Hopkins University have discovered for the first time that caffeine reduces forgetting at least up to 24 hours after consumption. Researcher Michael Yaza and his team conducted a double-blind trial. Participants who did not regularly consume caffeinated products either received a placebo or a 200 milligram caffeine tablet five minutes after studying a series of images. The next day, both groups were tested on their ability to recognize images from the previous day's session. The test also included new or similar images to those previously viewed. Members of the caffeine group were better able to identify the similar images as similar to previously viewed images versus mistakenly citing them as the same. The brain's ability to recognize the difference between two similar but not identical items is called pattern separation. The team discovered that this process is enhanced by caffeine. Yasa hopes to further study the brain's mechanism underlying this enhancement and to expand the research to include caffeine's cognitive effects on those with Alzheimer's disease. Deadly twisters can form in minutes and with little warning, causing havoc and widespread destruction. Researchers hope a newly established Castle Weather Radar Network in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex can provide fast updating, fine-scale information on the tornado that can increase warning lead time, saving lives and property. The network consists of four to eight small near-surface radar arrays. When mounted on rooftops and other near-to-ground structures, the radar can look for storms closer to the ground where tornadoes actually form. That's because the radars used today can see as far away as 250 miles, but only in a straight line. The Earth is curved, so they don't have a clear view of what's actually happening on the ground. They could miss a tornado or give a false alarm. Solution? Deploy a network of small, inexpensive radars that look at local conditions and report up to the second information. The system produces high-resolution images, enabling researchers to look directly at the storms. This network fills in the gaps. And so what CASA does is that we've, we've basically filled in that observation gap with uh, small, uh, densely spaced radars that, can, um, that have overlapping coverage that actually fill in that gap of observation. So we're actually able to look directly at the tornado happening and directly at the winds. And, and so we're hoping with that we can reduce the false alarm rate and improve the detections. Researchers from the Center of Collaborative Adaptive Sensing of the Atmosphere at UMass Amherst, Colorado State University, the University of Oklahoma, and the University of Puerto Rico Migas jointly developed the NSF-funded CASA network. Dallas-Fort Worth is the nation's first to host such cutting-edge technology. The CASA model is unique because it creates public-private partnerships. So one of the things that we're interested in doing is, is partnering with the local community and local governments and with the federal government and with the private sector to, to bring these radar networks um, um, out into operations. Researchers hope the expansion of the CASA network across the country will improve the way we detect, understand, and respond to severe weather, in turn, saving lives. NSF-funded researchers at Ohio University have found the oldest definitive fossil evidence of modern venomous snakes in Africa. The newly discovered fossil was unearthed in the Rukwa Rift Basin of Tanzania. The lead author, Jacob McCartney, and his co-authors note that these findings demonstrate that the lapid snakes, a group that includes modern cobras, crates, and sea snakes, were present in Africa as early as 25 million years ago. Elapids belong to a larger group of snakes known as the colubrids. 
active foragers that use a variety of methods, including venom, to capture and kill prey. The team was surprised to discover higher than expected concentrations of colorboid snakes, suggesting that the local environment was more open and seasonally dry, thus more hospitable to these types of active hunting snakes that don't require cover to ambush prey, like modern boas and pythons do. For more information about these stories, visit us at nsf.gov. This is NSF Science Now. I'm Dina Headley.